you ready to try this trail turn assist? Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can go all the way around. Do not hit me. Okay, there it is. It locks up. Okay, you ready? Yep. Here we go. It was right about now that the Duke boys found out they were in over their heads. Welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage Bronco Daily, and this is our playground. Now, what we're gonna be doing today, we're bringing you up here uh, into our backyard. This is just a few miles from our house. We aren't getting snow in Colorado Springs very much. So we have to come up here to play in the snow. Unlike the rest of you that were jealous about <laughs> back in the south where you guys are getting tons of snow, good on you and it looks fun. So today we're gonna bring the Bronco out and we're gonna play. But first, let's go back to the house and we'll show you how we packed this rig, we packed our camera gear, what we're going to be doing on the wheeling adventure this morning. Let's go back to the house. Yeah, we just dropped Little Miss Brighton off at elementary school today and we're going to take the day to go wheel up in the uh, front range. It's kind of our testing and proving ground for everything that we do with our off-road stuff. So uh, we're just going to go over there and play a little bit. We've, we've taken the Raptor there and you've seen it. We've done a couple other wheeling videos. But we haven't taken the Bronco up in the snow yet up there, so we're gonna go do that today. And we thought we'd just show you kind of the way that we prep. So we got our camera bag here. I mean, to do these kinds of videos, you don't need all this gear, but we just love using it. It's a lot of fun. We take way more video than we'll ever show, but we just keep it for ourselves. But what we are gonna do is we've got our GoPro accessories right here, just in case we need them. I've got a three-way suction cup mounting device for the GoPro on the outside of the Bronco. So we'll show that footage. We've got the GoPro with a standard camera mount on the bottom so that we can mount that to the Bronco tactical bar that we built a few months ago and it works out really good. So this guy is gonna go in our side pocket here. And then we've also got the drone and uh, we need the drone battery and all the connections for it. So we'll go get that. We've got about 7 billion SD cards just in case uh, we run out of room. We've got an extra charger lens cap for the Lumix that we're running on the tripod right here and we've got our kitchen doily protector that goes in there charger it's a towel. right there kitchen towel it's a doily it's the same thing a doily. it's a doily it's the same. come on man it's fine our that avalanche shovel when we go out skiing in the backcountry we're going to go into the garage and get all the recovery gear just in case we need it uh we need the hat and then now we're gonna head into the garage, which I've got my, I call this my recovery bag, but it's got all my recovery stuff in it, gloves, it's got a set of jumper cables in it, lots of carabiners, tow rigs and stuff like that, uh, air deflators, GPS, we've got all that, camera gear, our maxi track inflator, because we are gonna air down and air up, coming in and out of there. That is all we're gonna take on this trip, so let's go load up the Bronco and head across the street. All right, let's head out. <laughs> See you later, Big Yeti. See you later, big boy. Oh, you gonna be okay while we're gone? So all the way up here, we've been in for a, when you're in mixed snow and dry pavement, this is probably the best thing to be in because it'll cut in and out of four wheel drive based on how slippery it is. Now here in a minute, we're gonna stop and we're going to air down and we're gonna go into four high. Probably gonna leave it in four high most of this trip because we're not gonna do a whole lot of extreme stuff. We're gonna get off onto one of the county side roads that's a little bit more technical and see if this thing can pull itself through. Uh, and we'll be in four high and even potentially we're going to one of the goat modes. Bronco Tactical Bar is actually doing a really good job. Super stable, we've got the phone on this side, got the GoPro on that side, and we're gonna give this thing a test and see how durable this thing is on a, on a rough road. So now we're gonna air down. We're probably on this road to get air down to about 25. We're gonna do our new thing with the Bronco where Mandy jumps in. She'll tell me when we're at 25. So I'm actually gonna set these pretty deep. I'm actually gonna set these to probably closer to 18 pounds 
and then she's just going to monitor it and tell me when to take them off. Put them on, 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 and then take them off, 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 just like that. And then we're just going to go wheeling. This whole process will take us five minutes. So, uh, where are we at here? Well, we're getting down to... 33 on the back, so we're getting close. It's been about 45 seconds. Look at that view. My goodness. This is why we come up here. So we'll come up here in the mornings after we drop uh, the papoose off. And we'll just drive around for a while, look at the views, maybe take some pictures that we never post, and uh, have a little bit of fun. So, man, this is awesome. I love this area. 25 on the back, driver. We're done airing down. Now we're gonna go and uh, play a little bit. This spot right here is probably our favorite spot on this trip just because of the view. You know, it's really fun coming up here and, and doing this. And we just tried out the trail assist and the trail assist is awesome. So we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna try to actually do a little circle around Mandy and we're gonna call it the trust circle. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do the trust circle. So the trust circle is you stand in the middle of someone in the snow with the trail turn assist on and uh, no alcohol involved. We're gonna call that the trust donut. So we're gonna try that here in a little bit. I think you're gonna be the <laughs> You ready to go have more fun? <laughs> let's go. All right, now I think Mandy's gonna drive a little bit too today. Yes. So, okay, let's go try it. All right, you try, are you ready to try this trail turn assist? Yeah. All right, let's see if I can go all the way around. Do not hit me. Okay, there it is, locks up. Okay, you ready? Yep. Here we go. Hey baby. Yeah, so uh, it got a little slippery. Come on in. Come on in. You're gonna use that handle to get in? How was that handle getting in? That <laughs> worthless. Are you locked? Alright, front locker. Yeah. that giant cliff right there oh man I love this thing Woo! Get some. man I love it so we got the Bronco all flexed out here and That's a good shot for the Instagrams. All right, now we're gonna get back in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch Mandy get in this. Wow. See, this is what I want when you open the door. The little things that come down. They do. I'm not putting <laughs> those on this truck. Almost. You gotta hit the handle. Oh my goodness, that looks hard. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <Yeah. laughs> 
<laughs> well, you normally wouldn't be getting in right over a giant rut. That was just fun to do. When you're about three feet off the ground, this is where the grab handle would be nice. Right here, I can pull myself up. Yeah. So now we're going to move the GoPro off of the Bronco tactical bar. <clears throat> Big shifting. chunk of ice just fell off because uh, it was blocking the door. Oh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> Bronco failed. The door took it off, but I'm pretty sure now the door's got scratches because there's gravel and snow on this thing. And I'm going to pull out the three-way suction device right here. And I'm going to screw it right onto here. We're gonna do some exterior snow footage. See what kind of shots we can get with it on the glass, pointing down towards the front wheels. Think that would be any good? We'll do this one first. Yeah, that was go. it, you got it. It's that little lip on the sticker. You're right, Mandy. Mandy's right. Hi. <laughs> Mandy's right. Oh yeah. That's good right there. So we're gonna lock it in and uh, we're gonna see if we can get ourselves into some trouble here. I'm putting 37s on this not not for any other reason than it gives you when we air down it gives us a bigger footprint for a lot of our winter wheeling which is what we like to do the most even with the 35 inch wheels tires on the Sasquatch package it is uh, flipping phenomenal Ooh, that was fun that was fun so this little off-road shoot is probably got about a foot of snow maybe not quite a foot now you can see straight ahead we've got this little climb coming up and so we're gonna try to get out of this with the snow and I'll bet we have no problem whatsoever not even a problem yeah piece of cake that's gonna leave a mark <laughs> I know you've seen this a million times because this is the year of the snow Bronco uh, the storms have been hitting the southern United States harder than they normally do. And so all of our friends down south got to play in the snow before we did. We haven't gotten a lot of snow uh, this year back down by the house. So we got to come up here and play a little bit. Jump. Well, here we go again. Those Duke boys getting themselves in trouble. <laughs> that is too much. That was a lot. If I taught you to drive like a badass, would you do it? Yes. Sure about that? Like this. No, it's not. So do it for real. Do it for real. Hold on a second. Hold on. Not now. Not when you're going straight. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Oh, God. <laughs> you can do this. Oh, my God. So you gotta drive like a badass if you're gonna have a Bronco. We'll get the maxi track out and we'll start airing this thing up now. Smash out a place for this thing to sit. And all we're gonna do now is just get aired back up to probably 40 and call it a day. You know, oh, <laughs> good gravy.
that's how fast it is. That's pretty funny because we can't even talk between uh, tires when we air. And we stopped for less than 10 minutes to air up our tires back to 40 pounds. It was nothing. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, Mandy just sat there and told me when we were at 40 and then I just take the hose off and move to the next tire and it's a piece of cake. So uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Just get out and get out and enjoy your Bronco. So we had fun today. Uh, I'm glad you guys could hang out with us. We're gonna head back. It's probably about noon now. We came up here for about two and a half hours. Now we're gonna head back down and have a burger at one of our favorite burger spots right inside the monument area right there. And as you can see, truck did great. And we're looking forward to a next adventure, which is probably gonna be next week because I think there's a bigger storm coming next week. And we're gonna tailgate like we normally do. We just didn't bring the grill. We, use, we have a little tailgate grill that we bring with us. That's a wrap from Alpine Garage. Like and subscribe and check the end screen for our... End screen is that way. Oh. <laughs> so like and subscribe and check our end screen for other videos.